Hi, this is Mike, and I did a post recently about how to split a single audio file across multiple slides or, or split it up into multiple audio tracks using Presenter's audio editor. And I got a couple follow-up questions about how to do that if you don't have Presenter and maybe you want to do that for a storyline course or something else outside of Articulate Presenter. So here's a pretty simple way using Audacity. And I've got my single file here and we've got some pretty clear obvious breaks where I want to split those into individual tracks. So two different ways you can do this. Uh, first I'm just going to place my playhead here where I want to to split the first track out. Then I'm going to go up to the tracks menu and I'm going to add a label at that selection. And that's going to give me a label track and I can just name the labels the same that I want to be my track names. And then when we produce this in the end it'll it'll use those and it'll automatically name everything, which is pretty cool. So I can fly through here pretty quick. I can use the keyboard shortcut control B to add that. And again, I'll just put my label names here because that's going to save me a step in the end. Let's do one more. Do my control B shortcut. Give it a label. And you can go like that all the way through your file. Then once you get finished with your labels in place, you're going to go up to the file menu and there's an option down towards the bottom called export multiple that's going to ask you a few things it's going to ask you you know where do you want to save them um, you can use the label names which is what I was talking about earlier here for your resulting audio files that are going to get created so I'm just going to use those settings and hit the export button here's some metadata track title. Notice the track title is pre-populated with the label that we used. So I'm just going to take that as the defaults for each of these. There's my export. So I had three labels and I'm going to get three separate audio tracks. And if we go and look in that folder where we told it we wanted to save those files, there we have three separate audio files ready for doing whatever you want to do with those to pull in the storyline, uh, presenter course, use those wherever you want to use those. So pretty simple, straightforward, quick and easy. That's the first method. The other way you can do this in Audacity, uh, especially if you have these nice clearly defined breaks in your audio track, is to let Audacity automatically find out those uh, little pieces of silence and add the labels automatically. So that's going to be under the Analyze menu and we're going to go down to Silence Finder. Now here's kind of the parameters of what's the minimum duration of silence you want to look for. So based on how big those gaps are you may need to adjust that minimum, minimum duration of silence. And then the other thing to look at here is the label placement. So when it finds a, a gap of silence, uh, where in front of the end of that gap do you want your label to go? And I've just got mine set at a half a second and that typically works pretty well for me. So once you adjust those settings, go, go ahead and hit the OK button. And notice it finds all those gaps and automatically adds the labels. So we've saved a few steps there. Now what we can do is I can edit these label names and change the names on them. And then we can use these for the track numbers just like we did before. So 01 intro, go to the next one, call that 02. And now I can go through and rename those and I'm in pretty good shape. The other thing you can do is I can take and just click and drag these labels. So maybe that one was a little bit uh, too close to that second track. I can just click and drag these and tweak them to get them right in the right spots that you want. 
So that's another pretty quick and easy way to automatically split that single track into multiples. Then once you've got everything in the right positions, you've got your labels edited, it's going to be the same process we saw in the first method. So just up via the file menu, export multiple. Uh, where do you want it to be saved? Again, I'm going to use those labels as my track names. And once you click the export button, it's going to go ahead and ask us again if we want to change any of the, the names or track numbers, any of that kind of stuff. Typically don't really need to worry about that. And we're going to get all of those files exported into nice, neat, separate audio tracks. So there you go. Two different ways in Audacity to split out that single audio file into multiple tracks.